Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today as we show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we are coming with, to you with Coromon, a pretty cool uh, monster a training game. I always think that's an odd way to phrase it and very, I don't know, it just seems like uh, such a mouthful to, to say that that's the type of game it is. But it's a lot of fun this is the demo and i'm like super excited for the game and it to be released when it happens so we're going through the wood low like forest again and we're gonna see what we could find out here hopefully we'll be able to find something good something interesting and maybe some th some more things to catch hopefully uh so uh, this is a interesting feature of this game. I saw it also in the last episode is now when you come across you have a chance to come across to um, Coromon uh, in, in the in the uh, Wild when you're in the tall grass. So that I think is a very interesting aspect of the game so we'll just have to see how that goes off. Unfortunately, I cannot have two Coromon fighting at one time. So that seems a little bit of a, I don't know, unfairness, but I am level eight and it's a level four and a level six. So there are a lot lower in me. And it does give me the chance to level up before once I knock one of them out. So that's also kind of good as well. Uh, it, since last video, uh, kind of off screen, I went back, healed up my uh, Cormon, and went ahead and bought more of the healing things, the HP cakes. The HP cakes is like 300 gold, so it's actually quite a bit, and I did not mean to have him faint. That's unfortunate, actually. Um, so we will have to put someone else out and I don't think I have anything other than going back to a healing space to um, to wake up a KO'd uh, Cormon. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully, oh, well, that, that's pretty sweet. Powderbilt grew up to level 10. That's awesome. And Slitherpin is still level nine, unfortunately. And I believe, let's see if, yeah, so now he is, so I'm gonna switch him down to, with Nibblegar. We got two, three level nines and three level tens. It seems to be that's about the level of the area right now. Nine, eight, nine, ten, kind of right now. Ah, these guys are so annoying actually. Uh, but hopefully, uh, I haven't really ran into a lot. I know that, um, like, uh, that water effect hurts some of them. It will say, like, it was very effective. And I know I have some of them. I've seen that before, but I don't recall what, um, what it was that it was hit. Now, that did like 12 points of damage. I wonder what the bite and see the difference here because the bite is a normal attack. Okay, it at least did eight. And uh, I was wondering if the water damage did any uh, more and if it really doesn't do any more, uh, it's better to use the bite because it doesn't use as much skill points. It does a little bit less and I did eight right there. So it would be better to do the bite attack versus the um, water because the water ability is not giving, you know, uh, it's not very effective. It's not a special um, damaging to the swarmy. So it's better to use the bite, at least in my opinion so far. I did get a little bit more damage there, uh, but we'll just see how that goes and uh, how much that does or does not help us. We got to find some more um, trainer battles really because I need to get the money is what I'm really open. I hope I can get through there. Oh, so close. Those boxes are so tempting. I so want to get them every time. 
Um, I'm gonna hit this guy with, I think, a water hit, and then I'm gonna switch out. Um, it's best, in my opinion, not to have... Oh, these are both level nines. Uh, that's kind of harsh. Um, I, I think it's best if I don't have them KO'd, because I could always use an HP cake to uh, revive them, but we'll have to see what I get and how this all works out and how I'll be able to, um, you know, yeah, how it all works out and hopefully it'll go well. Venom bees, I hate the venom bees. That usually poisons me. Yeah, oh, both of them do. See, this is rough because they're doing a lot of damage on me, like right away. And I cannot, yeah, I'm not even fast enough for them. They're, yeah, we're gonna have to switch out again and hopefully we'll be able to make it somewhere in which, yeah, oh, got poisoned, but hopefully we can switch out to something a little bit better. Unfortunately, also switching out means that that uses my turn. So then they get to attack on me uh, immediately, which is not very good. I would have thought that Patterbit would be like resistant to bees and poisons because he is a robot. I absolutely love this um, propeller punch. The best skill of all so far in the game. It's just so funny and so kind of, I don't know, interesting to use uh one of the interesting effects of the propeller punch is it can knock them over or knock them down which gives them a they have to take a round to recover uh which is kind of useful uh, it missed that's not good that is not good at all so we're gonna go one more time hey, yeah yeah that propeller punch we're gonna go for it Hopefully we'll be able to switch out in time. I'm hoping that it does. I did a lot of damage, but yeah, he's going to get stung and he's going to be poisoned. Bye-bye, Patterbit. We are not doing well here. And unfortunately, I do believe we might run out of Poke, uh, not Pokemon. We might run out of uh, Coromon here. Rage, yeah, it used Rage. It uh, increases its attack, yeah. But at least, oh, yeah, at least it gives me a chance to attack first. Man, those venomous bees are really dangerous. Uh, the poison over time can do a lot of damage and can hurt you quite a bit. But those were two level nines. I should, I would think, get, um... We're going to go defense and attack and uh, speed. Sure. I'm having to make decisions I didn't expect to make in the game, but uh, we will Ooh, streamline. Ooh, we're getting all kinds of interesting things. I don't know if streamline would be an attack. It would probably be a I feel that would be a what I get? I, I got a ground cake. Wonder what that does. Items. HP cake, ground cake. Cures a Cormon of its shock. Revives a Cormon and restores half. Okay, so I need a Phoenix shard. Um, I got three HP cakes. Those things are just so expensive. Um, I'm going to try to get somewhere up here in which... Uh, oh, this is tough. I'm trying to make it through here, but I don't think I will. And all my guys, yeah, all my guys are fairly weak, and they're going to go out. I don't think he's going to have a ch Oh, yeah, okay, he got one off. That's something. But if I can't make it through or back, I don't know what's going to happen if all my uh, Cormon faint. And that's, that's going to be an issue. I, I do believe. Absorb. That's a really good ability, and I hate it. I absolutely 
hate it because it it it's it's what it sounds like. It's it drains my life and gives it to them. Ah, oh, so close. One hit point. Ah, uh, okay. So hopefully I, I well, and what I don't want to do right now is run into a a um another whatchamacallit, another trainer, because I'm really low on Cormon. Uh oh. Can I get by him? Okay. There's something that's gonna be helpful. HP cake? Okay, we found an HP cake. I'm gonna have to end up using some of these, I believe. Um They do 20. That's a little low, but let's go ahead and put that on sequel. And go with that, and hopefully. That's gonna let me get a little bit further, maybe? See, I am not gonna go run through that. I kind of want to find the next city if at all possible. So I can either go behind. Is she gonna look up? Look up. Look up. Lady, look. Ah, oh, no. Um. Just gotta go through here. This. Oh, and there's a thing over there as well. Oh, wow. Uh, Mofo is a new one. And sequel's poison still, I believe. I don't know how long that will take to wear off. And I think the best thing to do right now is to ouch. Is to get hurt. Um is to go back. I'm gonna have to go back, but I don't even know if I can make it all the way back. You can run from the battles, and I don't know if what that does. So that's gonna take out sequel. What I think I'm going to try to do is go to the next area and start coming back. I don't know because I feel that I'm more than halfway to the next area. And to run back all through all those uh, old grasses might not be the best idea. So if I get to the new area or the new city or the next city or whatever and then come back through might be the way to do it. Uh, but I'm... I'm going to be running into all kinds of things. We're going to pick our battles here for sure. I'm down to two Coromon, and he's a level eight. I wonder what happens if I try to run. He's trying to escape. Will it let? Oh, I failed to get away. That's not good. Let's try again. I want to see what happens if I can actually get away. I got away. Sweet. Okay. I'm. Oh wow. This is gonna be. Uh, is it gonna be a low level? Yeah. I'm gonna have to probably end up using my. Get away. Get away. Get away. I failed to get away. Yeah. We're not gonna make. What we're gonna have to end up using probably is our. Failed to get away. If every I don't know what happens honestly if if yeah I got away sweet okay um we're gonna go for it and see if I I can't get anywhere man another one of these things I'm really trying hard it's a level six I might be able to get away. I would like to trap him, actually. Um, let's... Let's see if I can hit him and trap him. I'm higher than he is. I don't really want to poison him. Oh, oh, no, no! It was a critical hit! That's not what I... I guess that works. Not really what I was going for there, but double sting. Okay, that's going to be useful. Armadillo grew up to 11 to 2 as well. Okay, can I make it through here? Get out of there. Oh, there's another trainer. Is this going to be a city? Woodland Harbor. Does this sign tell me West Woodland Forest, North Soggy Swamp? What is this way? Huh. What did that say again? 
West Woodland for North Soggy Swamp. So it looks like there is not a way to get... Um, I think what we're going to have to do, because there's no way I'm going to be able to make it back. Unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is find this. The, the, oh, I could use the stinky scent. Lux recall. I have two of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to do. But what I'll do is then teleport from here to this. Yeah, this, this is going to be a bad battle uh, to Hayville and then revive my uh, Cormon. I'm going to have to have really strong Cormon um, to get through that next area, I believe. And it's not going to be an easy battle. One of the things that I am going to have to look into is in a couple of the uh, past episodes, I have sent Cormon off. So I have had six Cormon uh, and you capture one, you send them off to a database thing. Um, and I have no idea how to get those out. Uh, so hopefully if any of you know and you're watching this, let me know in the uh, comments. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to try to figure out if I want to ever switch out my Cormon or anything like that, uh, we're gonna have to uh, do, you know, watch. Uh, what's the word I want to use? We're gonna have to, um, yeah, figure out how to do that, do that uh, switching out thing. So I am going to go down, back down through here and see how far. I would also like to try to see if I could refight previous. Like, can I fight this guy again? You want to look how you grow as a trainer. Okay, that did. Yeah, so he is not going to help me any longer. So it's either going to be fighting more Cormont to love them up or finding those other trainers and leveling up or getting more money that way. I have not got a lot of money so far. This So this is a fairly frust not frustrating. That's not the right word. It's I just have to figure out the right not mechanics, the right uh, pattern for it. I have to figure out, you know, when I can go, when I could, you know, I have to go back, that sort of thing. Uh, so we just have to kind of take it easy and maybe level these guys up a little bit. I mean, it's, it's like, I'm like right at level. Uh, these upper guys are usually eight or nine. Uh, I think I've seen a few tens. Those doubles really hurt. Um, so, yeah, I did that guy. We went over and got that. I would like to get some more as well. Uh, some more Cormon, so... Well, see, we made it through there fairly easily. Uh, here, I think, is where it starts to get a little bit worse. And these two uh, Cormon really make a huge difference and how you play the game. Big, big difference. I'm gonna go after the level three first because I'd rather have one killed than um, dealing with two. So we're gonna be using Absorb here. It is a little bit higher of a skill, but it, it heals my life up. So that's hopefully I'll be able to kind of push off this a little bit, you know, his knockout um, and deal with having two there. I don't feel I fell as much in that right there than I would have normally, but I'm using up fairly quickly all of his skill points. Not really what I want to do either. So, so I got four. That's not too bad. Oh, he used pocket sand. That's going to help. It lowers my attack, but I'm he didn't hurt me. Sometimes I love it when they do that because it, like he didn't hurt me and that gives me a little bit better of a chance. I think using this ability is the best idea for him. It just it's so powerful um, to be able to drain somebody's life like that. 
used claw. So I fought off two and I've only lost like eight. Yeah, I can only do this now. So I'm gonna have to, um, uh, what's the word? Oh, 125, he, that did really good for him. Sweet, okay. Uh, you just take one step and it goes into another battle. No, not this again. Uh, the problem here now is I have no... There is a way to rest. Can I just do the takes a quest or okay? That's not gonna be the best thing to do, but I'm pretty full on a semi full on health. Maybe I'll be able to pull this out. I don't think I will. Um but I'll get them pretty hurt, I think. Um being able to do this and restore my health points like that. It's gonna slow down the tide of damage that they're doing a little bit. If I could refill my health every so often. And I'm not using HP cakes either, which is very expensive. I don't think I'll be able to fight these two off, but I'll get this one and I'll probably then switch. Um. You know what? Yeah, I think we're gonna go switch to, um, go and switch to Sequel, Silquil. That one's dead up, uh, hurt, so hopefully we'll be able to pull this out without too getting too much damage here. That's a lot of damage. Uh, fight. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock him out. But I don't know if... Uh, if he'll be able to come back from this. I mean, he's pretty low himself right now. I wonder what that is. I know what that is, but I don't know what the gold is. Nine? How much does he do to me? Yeah, I'm gonna have to see. It's so powerful having two there. Uh, it just makes a huge difference in the gameplay here. Having fighting two like this. Of course, I could try to knock one down. Yeah, see. Knock one down and trap him. I don't know if I could do that, but if I if that worked... I it would be easier to not, you know, get one out of my way. Okay, still, still quills now level 10. That's good. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to fight this guy and see what goes on. Exercise is good for you, and it's also good for your core mind. Dave. Mooby. Such good. I love these. All oh, these are so cool. That guy is awesome looking. Oh, that's not good. But you know what? I'm going to try and see. Maybe I could. I don't know what movie would do. But if I can heal up a little bit here and maybe he doesn't hit me hard enough or there we go. But I'm out of again. I'm out of. If he uses something like. Um, Fury Fist. That doesn't look like a good thing. <laughs> oh, these things that have two hits on them. No, I'm going to go ahead and pull out. What level is he? He's level nine. You know what? You have those punching bags. I want to pull him out and do a punching bag myself. I think would be, but he did a lot of damage to him, which is the, the idea is I was able to take more than half of his damage off. There we go. It just makes a big difference there when you're, when he was able to absorb that health that allowed him to do a little bit more damage than normal. And he has four Coromon. I did not notice that when we first got into this battle. 
Um, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult than the other ones. Although that, that punch does a heck of a hit there. Even at other level nines, um, this propeller punch is a pretty powerful... Uh, it's a pretty powerful, potent... Propeller punch from Patter Bit. <laughs> There's way too many B, uh, P's there. There we go. Level 11. Sweet. He's going to be my big gun, I think. Is Patter Bit. Oh, a Buzzlet. I think that's a new one. I don't think I've seen him before. We're just going to keep adding these punches. And hopefully, again, I'm using. Oh, that might be super effective. I love the animations there. Ooh, energy got depleted. Interesting. Oh, I only have four left. That's not good. We're going to have to switch out, but that might knock him out. I wish I could switch when he switches. Like, he's sending out a new one. Tattle? Ooh. Oh, it's like a little tadpole. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. He's a level nine. We're gonna go with Bezel, send him out, and finish this guy off. I need more money is what I need. Ignore pain. That's an interesting ability. I wonder what that de special defense increases. I believe special defense is defense against special attacks. Oh, that was super effective. Opponent title uses ignore pain again. Huh. So there's like normal attacks and special attacks. And I think the special defense. Um, uh, defend against the special attacks. Not 100% sure about that, but that's what I believe. Bezel did good. You're doing good. You're my uh, strong man here, Bezel. I defeated Dave. You better give me a bunch of money. 302. I get one HP cake for that. Okay, there was that. There was... Uh, sometimes I just want to get somewhere, you know? I There was... I still have a lot, but I think they're rather weak. What does he have? Uh, let's see what this is. I don't even know what thief. I don't failed to affect the okay that's fine i was just curious what it did no 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 i don't want to do that squad um let's go ahead and throw out nimble gar i was afraid he was going to get knocked out he probably will eventually <sighs> um absorb yeah oh this thing's bad but I don't know if water is going to be super effective against him. It did eight, not horrible, but he is going to rev revive five, which is oh, not too bad, two. But still, that makes a big difference. You got to take those two points off again. Um, so we will hopefully be able to use Sting good. I want to be able to get, I saw a little chest up here and hopefully I can get to it and then make it back. This is a tough little spot, I gotta say. And we're gonna hopefully see it through there. Oh, so close. Can I run? I'm gonna, uh, it's a sequel. Um, I'm gonna switch out though. Everybody's hurt. Everybody's hurt. Unfortunately, everybody's hurt. And that's not good. Use that sand thing. Oh, use claw right away. I was hoping that he would use a sand, that sand throw because I wanted to be able to get attack on him. But, oh, that's not too bad. Half of So hopefully this will take him out here. If it did 12 last time. Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it, there's a very, like it does 10 to 12 damage. I've noticed that the attacks do have a little bit of uh, variation in them. Now, 
was it up? I feel it was not that way. There is something that way, but I don't know what it is. Let's go and see what's... Uh, uh, I'm gonna run from him, hopefully... I'm gonna try to run. It's gonna, I, no matter what I'm do, gonna do, that silk wheel is gonna get knocked out. I failed to get away. That's what I expected, to be honest. But I figured I could try it out there. Let's go ahead and just jump in and do Beazle. Hopefully I can do a lot of damage really quickly to him with this uh, double sting. Oh yes, yes, critical hit, sweet. I'm not running into the, now the trainers have a few different ones, but I'm not running into a lot of new Coromon yet. And I, I really want to trap more. And unfortunately it won't let me trap the trainers, of course. That's just not fair. I really don't want to, I don't want him to be poisoned, but oh okay. And I'm so low on everything. It's, it's hard. And he's going to end up with two. No, he used a bite. I got poisoned. Of course he did. We are slowly making our way over here. Hopefully. Oh, did he make? Ah, oh, he's so close to getting up. Dude, get out of there. Okay, it looks like. What is that gonna do? That did not help us any. Can I roll that that way? I can. I might be able to get down there. If I rolled this up, I can't get can't get through here, can I? What happens if I rolled? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I keep on. I don't mean to do that. Yeah, that's not going to help me. How am I going to get? happens if I hit that one? Oh, can I do? Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, shoot. Can I go knock that one up? Oh, I can't get back around. Okay, that's what it is. That, But now that one's in the way of that one. And if I knock this one over, it's going to block that off. I feel that that almost has to be up there. And I can't. That has to go that way. I want to. Will that move it more that way now? I don't think it will. Now that that's out of the way, I don't think that's going to help any. What if that was in the way? Would it hit the end of the log? Like if I came over here and knocked this one that way, would it hit the end of the log and then allow me to walk back down here and knock that one over? And then I should be able to knock that one up maybe? There we go. We made it. Not sure what it was. I got two silver spinners. Sweet. I'm not sure if I want to go down that way. I just go out and hope I make it back. wonder where that takes me, though. I'm very intrigued as well. I still have that other one. I'm going to end up running and using. Yeah, I made it. Oh, oh, more puzzles. I can't hit any of these anyway. Oh, there's another path over there. Oh, I could always go into the grass. 
if I go over here and knock that one up, it would allow me to knock that one over. I got that. A Phoenix Shard. That's cool. Mm, I was doing so good there. Avoiding him. No. That's not good. Those guys are pretty strong. What level are they? Six and eight. Let's see. Let's try to run. I got away. Sweet. Okay, good. Um... Ooh, a little house. Let's see who lives back here. A wild wooden lumberjack. Who are you? My name is Stingray. Nice to meet you. I blocked off my cabin to be left alone, not to be disturbed by strangers. You can't just intrude into people's homes. Oh no, this is not good. So not good. And he's sending out a slither pin. Oh, these guys are harsh. Um, he has two. I probably could do this, but there is no way I'm making it back. And it's a level 10. Oh, gosh. Critical hit right off the bat. Uh, uh, the Beazle's going to help. Definitely that's going to be a good thing. Oh, he's out. Oh, no. That's fine, I guess. Oh, shoot. Poison Sting. Ouch. Oh, he got poisoned. Of course he did. And he's hurt already by the poison. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Punching. Propeller punch. Oh, that it still does. I mean, 11 points for an even level. That's a good. That's a good uh, hit there. Turbite's poison. Don't knock me out. Okay, maybe do something critical hit or something. <laughs> Got knocked down. There you go. So there, that was great. He was hurt by his poison, which is going to knock him out. No, I didn't take advantage of the... I was not able to take advantage of him being knocked out or knocked down. That's not cool. I want Armado to get something. I haven't, he hasn't done, gotten anything special. Wow, that was harsh. Or please let it do more than four damage. Poison Sting, that's fine. I'm gonna have to zoom back to the, those things are so expensive too. Awakened Nimogar, awakened to some of his potential. What do I want on him? I keep on forgetting how I want these guys to go. Um, speed, defense, and attack. Sure. Patter bit. Oh, yeah, the, everybody that was out. Oh, he's sending out a Nimblegar. Another level number 10. Um,. Uh, it's not gonna he's not gonna survive yep I, that's what I figured it was gonna happen only one more oh no that's not good oh gosh this is not good oh that was nice come on just do it again and kill him Double, well, 14 last. Oh, sweet. I just barely pulled that off. I defeated Lumberjack. Why can't I grieve in peace? I got 168 gold for winning that one. That was not worth it. It was only, only if only my Rocky was still around, then we would have one for sure. And then I wouldn't feel so lonely. If only this moment wouldn't be a demo, then I could ask you to find the multi around the city of Llama. Ooh, interesting. So we might have a, uh, something to look forward. Oh, I found a canal, canoe fruit. Wonder what that does. Oh, and he has something over here too. Phoenix shard, two of them and two HPK. Oh, wow. Let's just raid this guy's house here 
photograph together with multi. They seem to glue close for anything in his oven. Combi cake. Wow, we just robbed that guy blind. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do items. Store ground cake. Phoenix shard. I'm going to revive him and my patter bit. And who has low there? And I'm going to use Bezel. Hopefully, we can make it back to the town. What? We are out of time for today, and we were going to have to make it back to town in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.